Yo guys, welcome back to a brand new PDCGO video, and today guys, we're taking a look at a Umbreon Espeon Duo Evolution deck. That's kind of a counter to a Buzz Buzzwell archetypes and also Malamar Dawnwings archetypes. Dawnwings is getting a lot more hype. Um, you know, we already know Dawnwings is a staple in Malamar, but we're also seeing the baby Dawnwings also seen a lot of play. So Umbreon seems like a decent counter to Dawnwings. Espeon seems like a decent counter to Buzzwell. So you kind of see the trend of running both of them. It's a really cool combo that could have some potential. Umbreon's always been really slept on, I feel like. No one's really given Umbreon the attention it deserves. It's not a terrible card. Dark Call's a good GX attack. Shadow Bullet's a phenomenal attack. Um, even Strafe has its merits. Um, but no one really has played Umbreon. It doesn't help that it is weak to fighting, I guess. But um, we do have Espeon, which we are doing it with today. Espeon is a Psychic type. We already know what Espeon does. Psychic and uh, Psybeam and Divide are two really strong attacks, especially against um, Buzzwool. You know, you can fuse Buzzwool, and you also do a one-shot on Buzzwool Psychic. You have Divide, which can be deadly too against Stage 2 decks. So there's a lot of hype going on with Espeon and Umbreon. And uh, obviously, we're just going to play with Garboder. We are going to play two Trash Lanch. Another great card. Trash Lanch is good right now. A lot of items being played, but it's also another great counter to Buzzwool. And we also play Garbotoxin because, well, we need a way to stop, you know, everyone's favorite abilities like Malamar and Trade. So, yeah, we're going to need Garboder to Garbotoxin in here. But, um, yeah, Umbreon, Garboder, Espeon is basically this deck. I do want to try out an Umbreon... Um, Garbotoxin deck. Um, I might try that out down the road because it seems like an interesting archetype. But yeah, other than that, this is kind of the, the deck. Um, we It's kind of just straightforward. We just have counters to two of the biggest archetypes, Dawn Wings, and we also have a counter to Buzzwool, and then we have Garboders for insurance. And we are playing one Coco. Flying Flip is a lot better than Latios. We already have a bunch of Psychic types. We don't need Latios, or Mewtwo for that matter. Coco seems better. Flying Flip could be useful with Divide GX. Two Tapu Leles for Wonder Tag, of course, because we need that ability. We've got our four Eevees. Um, and yeah, that's basically all the Pokemon. Uh, just three Trubbishes and three Garboders. We'll go into the items now. We got two Field Blowers to be able to get um, rid of tools, which are important for Trash Land. We got two Mysterious Treasures. We can search out our Garboders, our Leles, our Espeons with this. I am playing one Professor's Letter. It's either this or Multi Switch. I was debating which one to play, but I find Letter better because that rhymed. Ha. Huh. I'm a poet and I didn't even know it. That was a horrible, that was a horrible joke. Sorry, guys. But uh, yeah, Professor's Letter does let us search our deck for two energies, and we can use this to grab the dark energy or the psychic energy. We got one stretcher to be able to get our Pokemon back, one rod to get our Pokemon and energies back. We got four copies of Ultra Ball, obviously, to search for our Pokemon. One Parallel City, since it is the best stadium at the moment. Uh, we got one Ace Rolla. Umbreon and Espeon actually have enough HP to survive hits from a few attacks, so Ace Rolla can be a good way to kind of loop them um, and kind of just prevent them from being KO'd, which could be game changing. We got one copy of Bridget. Um, Bridget might be the only thing I'd consider removing. I honestly didn't use it that much, to be honest. Like, it is nice to get two Trubbishes down. It depends. Like, we don't have that many Pokemon to start with. It's like, you'll either start with Eevee, Trubbish, or Coco, or Lele. So it's not a big deal. I, I think you can remove Bridget, to be honest with you. We got three copies of Cynthia. We got our two ends for draw. We got three Sycamores for draw. I am playing three Guzmas in this deck. Guzma is... Of course, a very good card. We already know why that's in here. But Guzma can do miraculous things with Shadow Bullet because we're spreading damage. We are playing three choice bands for the extra 30. Sometimes you need 30 more damage on Umbreon and Espeon to take one shots or two shots. We got three float stones, mainly for Garbotoxin. We got four DCEs for, well, every attacker basically. Two dark energies for Umbreon and six tech energies for the Espeon Garboder combo. And um, if anything else you could do, you could probably go 5 Psychic, 3 Dark if you want. You can mix it up that way. It's up to you how you want to blend your Dark and Psychic energies together. It's up to you. It works pretty well. Again, you just need to attach one energy and you have energy evolution. It's not like, it's like Vika Bulu. But um, yeah, let's go find some games in the deck. See if we can kick some butt and see if we can play against any Buzzwool or Malamar archetypes. So see you guys in just a moment. Alright guys, here we go. Let's go find some games with our Umbreon Espeon deck. See if we can play against any Buzzwool or Don Wings decks. It looks like we're playing against a potential um, Gardevoir deck, it looks like, but with Metal, Fairy, and Fighting, I think? That's that's a very weird type combination. Um, we are going to mulligan, revealing that we are indeed playing the Espeon deck. The cool thing here is the Espeon and um, Umbreon are both on the, the HGSS energy, so it goes with the cool little theme of the deck, so that, that's just a fun little bonus. 
Um, we're gonna start with Lele. Uh, that kind of sucks. Um, I guess we can swing with Energy Drive. Sure. I don't know what we're playing against, though. That's the problem. I don't know if we're playing if we're playing against um, Gardevoir or not. Could be a spread deck, but I don't know. Like all these different types is it could be Rainbow Road. I don't know. Like I didn't see like any dark or anything. So I don't know. I have a feeling it is Rainbow Road though. Like all those types, it might be Rainbow Road, but it might be Gardevoir. It's just what would the metal type be? Like there's no real metal type. Guardy could be playing. Oh, I guess he's playing Mega Gardevoir. Ooh, that's actually kind of scary. Um, that's actually pretty bad, um, not gonna lie. Because Espeon and Umbreon are both a little bad here. Espeon obviously is really not favored. Umbreon doesn't do a lot of damage to Gardevoir, though. Um, plus Garbodor, so that's not really that good. This is actually a pretty bad matchup. We'll see how it plays out, though, for us. Best way to win might just be to use um, Umbreon, maybe, or like just attack with Lele until we can get like a Garboder to at least do enough damage to two shot him. That might be my best call. This is actually not the greatest matchup for us. Not the best matchup in the world. <laughs> um, obviously, we'll see what happens. I am scared of a Kartana coming down this turn, getting rid of my DCE on my active attack with Lele, and um, that would not be fun. But we'll see. My opponent just passes. Alright, I don't think they're playing, you guys. I do not think they are playing. We're going to get rid of Eevee and an Ultra Ball here for a Trubbish. Yeah, sure. Uh, Garboder would be clutch here, I guess. I'll put another DC on Lele. We have Ace Rolla still, and I doubt Guardy can one-shot me. I, I don't think he's playing. So I don't know if I should have just end him there, or maybe he just didn't have a good hand. Maybe I just gave him a better hand. I don't know. We're going to just swing with Lele. I could do Parallel City now. I mean, I guess. Um, I guess we'll just Energy Drive for 80. We're at least going to put good damage on him. And then I guess next turn, if he's really not playing, we can just finish the game off with another Energy Drive. And try and hit Ace Rolla down the road to save our Lele from getting... KO'd, and then we lose all those DCs just in case he is playing. So I don't know. I don't think Parallel matters. Like, I I'm, I'm, i don't know if he's going to be playing Hoopa or not. That's the thing. Like, if he's playing Hoopa, then Parallel kind of comes in clutch here. I mean, there's no Shamans anymore, though. So I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. Nope, my opponent's not playing. Okay, well. That, I guess, is a good thing. That is a tough matchup to navigate, for sure. Um, that is a tough matchup to navigate. But okay. We'll find another match for their deck. It looked pretty similar to the list I had. Might actually be identical, so shout out to my opponent if he ends up watching this video. So we're up against, it looks like Greninja. Ooh. Greninja, Greninja, Greninja. This matchup is kind of iffy. Umbreon's not bad. Obviously, Garboder is a huge bonus here, so. So we'll see. Uh, we aren't winning the coin flip. That's usually not a good sign. Um, I don't know if I want to go Espeon or Umbreon early on. Probably Umbreon, but again, it's not guaranteed we're going to get the Dark Energy. We are going to open with Trubbish here. Um, we can all we can do Cynthia, thankfully. We'll see how this matchup plays out. Greninja, I think, is beatable. I think it is beatable for sure. Not definitely one of our like more iffier matchups. It's definitely not like they're playing Dawn Wings and they're playing... Um, Buzzwolf, per se, but, you know, they at least have stuff. Okay, this could be actually, oh, Bridget. This is a Latios Greninja deck. Ooh, okay. Latios Greninja is interesting. Latios is kind of scary here, since it does hit my Espeon for weakness. This tells me Umbreon might be better here, but I kind of like Espeon too against Greninja GX. Um, so we're just going to do Cynthia here, because we obviously want that Garboder. And alright, nice, we do get the Dark Energy, but we don't have a way to retreat our Trubbish, which sucks. So we'll go into Umbreon. No way to retreat Trubbish is kind of bad. Um, 
full pass. I guess next turn we can Guzma with Lele, but I don't know. Like we, we're not gonna have any cards in our hand other than that. We'll see. What depends on what we top deck. I wouldn't mind Guzma knocking out one of the Frokies. We'll see what happens. We're gonna see an Ultra Ball for my opponent. My opponent's Remoraid might be stuck in the active, and just maybe we should just knock out the Remoraid. He got rid of two of his supporters there, or knock out the Octillery because we can do enough to knock it out. And before Triple Frogadier knocking out my poor old Trubbish. So he's going to do Cynthia. I'm assuming my opponent is looking for Floatstone here. They obviously want this Octillery out of the active spot. Considering we just dropped the number on them. Alright, so DC going on to Latios. That's fine. We see an Ultra Ball for my opponent too. Getting rid of two Stretchers. Beautiful discard. Getting a Frogadier. I'm assuming they're going to hit Trubbish so that if they have Floatstone, they can knock it out. I'm assuming that's what their play is going to be. We'll see if they get Floatstone or not. They still have Abyssal Hand to work with. No, they're hitting the Umbreon. Okay, then why are you picking on my boy Umbreon? What did he ever do to you? And the Abyssal Hand for three. Okay, question is... Question, what am I saying? <laughs> the big question is, is do they get the Floatstone? They do have another Frogadier, and they're probably going to hit the Trubbish this time. Yep, I was right. But do they have a way to retreat? Oh, they play multiple Octillaries. Rip the dream. Super scoop up. And it gets heads, bruh. They scooped up the Noctillery. I am done with this game for good. No, I'm kidding. That sucks. Now, unfortunately, if we had an Espeon, we could knock out this Latios. So maybe it was better to go Espeon and not Umbreon. But I don't know. We can at least Shadow Bullet for now. I don't know how much that matters. Thankfully, Latios is only doing 10 damage to us, though. So we can do Cynthia, I think. Maybe we should have ended him to 5, because we know he has Octillery. No, I think Cynthia's the better call here. We're not taking a prize this turn, so we can always save the end for later. We do have an Eevee. I don't know. We'll, we'll Parallel City him first. This will force him to get rid of something. He's probably going to get rid of the Froakie and the Remoraid, but I don't mind this at all, though. Now, is it safe to put Eevee down? I don't think it is. Eevee's going to get knocked out next turn. I'm going to have to play Professor's Letter 2. With another deck. Maybe I should just stretch or get the Trubbish back and put Eevee down. I think I'm going to have to do that. I mean, then I have two Pokemon on the bench. I don't know. We'll see if Eevee or Trubbish goes down. We know he has Octillery in his hand. He has played quite a few items, though, so we are going to get value out of Garbodor. And we'll just Shadow Bullet. And we'll hit that other Frog here, I guess. Sure. And then maybe next turn, if we can draw Guzma, I can combo a knockout on both a Frogadier and a Latios and take two prizes. That could be cool. But this could be bad, especially because my opponent can easily knock out Eevee. Maybe it wasn't best to put it down, but I am forcing him to have to target either the Trubbish or the Eevee. Both can be threats. Espeon is a threat. Darboder is also a threat, especially because he's played so many items at this point. So it's kind of up to him. He's going to Abyssal Hand for two. Please don't knock me out. <laughs> I mean, best case scenario might actually be draw Guzma, knock out the one with the DC on it if he doesn't get Greninja GX down. If Eevee survives a turn, I'm going to be happy because then I can put the Psychic Energy on and go straight into Espeon and then I'll have to worry about Eevee getting knocked out this turn. He did get rid of multiple supporters here, so this could be pretty big. He, uh, okay, so he's going to be able to hit me for 30. He does have a Cynthia rip. That sucks. He's definitely going to get Greninja off this. Yeah, dang it. No, Eevee, don't get knocked out. No, Eevee. We're losing all of our attackers here. Not good. Not good at all. Another Greninja, really. So he's going to be able to knock out Eevee. That just, that just, that blows. Still have Trubbish, and, you know, still hitting for good solid damage. He's doing 40. We drew a Bridget. Okay, could be worse. Coco wouldn't be terrible in this matchup. I'm going to put Eevee and Trubbish and Trubbish down, I think. Or just double. Because I don't want to put down Thing and then... Have, I don't want to put down Eevee and then have to worry about... Uh... Yeah, so I can draw I can draw Lele is basically what I'm trying to say. So we'll put Espeon into play. Really wish we had a Floatstone right about now. But we don't. I think I'm just going to Shadow Bullet him. 
Sadly, Umbreon will get knocked out here if he has a Water Energy. Um, but we can try and Espeon, and we just need to draw a Supporter or something. So if we can draw out of this, that would be, uh, you know, amazing. We'll see what he has to go into, though. Like, he could just knock me out, but then I can Psychic him or Psybeam. And I kind of like Psybeam. It forced him to have to flip to uh, attack, and that's pretty good on this Pokemon. Another Latios coming down. He has played a lot of items, though, so I don't know. Really? We need to draw something his ultimate has come down to. Okay, so he's going to get me to 5. Perfect. That Octillery, though, is making things a little complicated, though. I'm not going to lie. We do have an Ace Rolla and Double Garboder. Okay, not, not a bad hand. If he did whiff, an, if he whiffs water here, we can Ace Roll the Umbreon, which I think I'm going to do. But that's if he whiffs the water energy. If he gets a Splash energy, that could be bad. We don't play Hammers. He's going to Float Stone. Oh, did he whiff it? Timer Ball, Double Tails. Nah, he's got heads. I mean, it doesn't matter. He's got nothing on his bench anyway to evolve, but still. Putting the float on the Greninja tells me he didn't have the water energy, or he's putting that on knowing that I'm going to side beam him. Oh, shoot, he got it. He's probably going to shuffle too, which is annoying. Do I just trash an ancient? I don't know. We'll bring out Espeon. Oh, man. I am scared of Super Scoop Up, though, too. We're not doing much here. Ooh. Okay, we got Garboder. I'm gonna have to discard this hand. It's fine, though. We do have Stretch and Rod, and I'm looking for Garbotoxin here. Perfect, we got him. Um, he's weak to grass. Coco can go. He hasn't played a Field Blur yet, but that is making him play more items, so it works out for the better. I might Ultra Ball for another Trubbish. I think I will do that. I want to get more Garboders in play. If not, I'll grab an Eevee. Stretch and Rod wouldn't be bad in this game either. Um, and we can side beam him for 30. He might have Field Blower in his hand. We'll have to see. But at least we can put him to sleep. We can confuse him. He will be able to retreat probably into Latios. And we don't have a Guzma either to knock him out with Garboder. I don't think we can do enough. 20, 60, 80, 100, 140. We're doing 140, I think. Or 160. One of the two. Broken Hill lets him get a Froakie down and bump the parallel. That sucks. Sycamore 2. Okay, and he didn't dump that many items. That's what I was hoping would happen. He's probably going to get Field Blower off this Sycamore. He hasn't played a single one yet, and I'm pretty sure these lists played three. Three or two. I know they play multiple Field Blowers, so it's not safe. Why do you have to hit heads off? Are you kidding me? Come on, really, game? He hits heads off that? Come on, alright. I'm looking for DC Choice Band so we can knock out this Greninja here. But he's gonna shuffle, because... Why did he hit heads? That is annoying. Okay, there's a Field Blower. Well, we could knock him out Garb, maybe. Looks like we have to. Hold on, how much are we doing? 20, 60, 80, 100. 120, 140, 160, 180. So we are doing 180 here. Right? I'm doing the math right? Yeah, we're doing 180. I'm actually gonna... No, we... I don't know if I want to retreat or not, because I kind of want to save the Espeon for a Psychic Attack, but whatever. Well, again, it's more valuable to keep Trash Lineage. We can Treasure, probably get rid of Ultra Ball at this point. Don't need that anymore. Never mind, I do not have any Garboders in my deck. Rip. I'm going to attach DC to Lele, and I'm going to Trash Lineage him for the knockout. So we are going to do a chunk of damage, 180 damage. And the cool thing is... Yeah, Shadowy Hunter can't knock me out, so he won't knock me out. He's going to need a Field Blower and a Frogadier to knock me out. Let's see if he hits it. An end there would have been beautiful. Do we have any ends left? Oh, we haven't even played one. So he's going to go for Shadowy Hunter, knocking out Espeon for the game. No, dang it. I didn't realize he was that close to winning. Oh, that is a bummer. Well, we came, we tried. We put up a decent fight. Um, we put up a decent fight there. Maybe my plays were questionable. Did he not play Field Blower? Maybe he does. Oh, wow. I don't think he does. Maybe he doesn't. All right, well... 
We'll get another game with our deck here. We'll see what we end up playing against next here. So here we go. Let's go find another match. That kind of sucks. It's fine, though. The Greninja, Greninja is tough to beat, I think, even though you have Garbotoxin. I don't know. Oh, another Greninja deck. Are you serious? Why didn't I just play Galissapod? Kappa. Alright, we're going to win the coin flip. So that's a plus, I guess. Okay, double EV start. Not bad. Not a bad hand, either. It's probably going to go Umbreon here. Umbreon is a lot more useful against Greninja. Assuming he's playing Greninja. I did see Colorless. He could... Or to be playing Lapras. He plays Enhanced Hammer. Good to know. Not really, though. Not not too enthusiastic about Enhanced Hammer. If he's playing Water Box, though, that's good. We'll draw three cards, try and get a turn one Rigid. Maybe not. Never mind, that works, too. It's Greninja. Lovely. Yeah, it's, I definitely want to definitely want to play against Greninja. Okay, I'm kidding. Okay, we have Garbotoxin. One Trash Land is price, unfortunately. We do have all our DCEs and all our Psychics. Double Greninja, though. This is just awesome. So we'll do Cynthia. See what we get. We get another Eevee, another Trubbish. No DCEs. That is pretty much a bummer. We'll pass. So we don't have to worry about Bubble, at least, but no DCEs kind of sucks. Not going to lie. So we're going to see a Bridget from my opponent. So is this really another Greninja Latios deck? Oh, it's Greninja Glacier. Glaceon! Battle of the Evolutions. Umbreon and Eevee versus Glaceon. Umbreon and Espeon, sorry, versus Glaceon. Cool! Okay, um... I don't know how I feel about this hand, though. If we can draw a DCE, I can definitely Guzma that uh, Eevee up and knock it out. We're gonna see an Ultra Ball. Does he have a Water Energy? That's the big question in this match. Is does my opponent have a Water Energy? I think I'm definitely going to try and use Espeon in this matchup. He doesn't. Alright, DC top deck. That is not a DCE. We can get Espeon into play, though, which is fine. Do I want to do Strafe? Or do I just Guzma Espeon this Glaceon? Or Eevee put 30 damage on it. I think I do that. He could do some weird shenanigans where he sets up a... Uh, Oh, Har Harlow, my point. Oh, can I hit him with Har Harlow? Um, yeah, we can we can fuse him, get damage on him now, but this way he doesn't do any like weird Aqua Passion against where he does attack me Glacier on this turn. I guess that's the play. I don't know. Hopefully, though, in this video, we can find a game against a Buzzle deck. That would be 10 out of 10, would recommend again. Alright, so he's going to play Frogadier. He's going to hit my Espeon. Okay. Obviously, he evolves Glaceon. S Eevee won't stay confused. I think he... Okay, he Ultra Ball for Froakie last turn. So, he's got three cards. He did get rid of a Lele, which tells me he has a supporter in his hand. So, he's probably got something here. So, he's going to Energy Evolution. He will go into... The Glaceon, but thankfully Glaceon does need two energies to attack, and we can confuse him once again and keep him confused, which is pretty useful. Um, so instruct for one. All right, let's see what he draws. Cynthia. Okay. Well, unless he had in his hand already, I don't know. All right, nice. Who's so gonna pass? All right, what do we draw this time? We drew a Bridget. I can't really play that, unfortunately. So we'll just have the choice band the Espeon. Um, I might as well put a Dark Energy on, just so we can maybe try and um, Psychic him next turn. And we'll just side beam him. He's confused. Now, I hope he doesn't hit heads, gets a DC, and another Frogadier or Greninja, and knocks out Espeon. That would make me cry. Because my side beam's just... It's proof that side beam doesn't like me today. It's basically what it's going to boil down to. So he's going to hit the active here. I'm really banking on this getting tails if he does attack me with uh, Polar Spear. He's got the DCE. Please do not get heads. Oh, come on, Psybeam, don't let me down. This is, I barely use you, Psybeam. This is the one time, Psybeam, I do not want you to let me down. Don't do it, don't do it. Come on, please, get tails. That's all I'm asking for, Psybeam. 
Um, he's probably gonna hit the Umbreon next. Or he hits a Trubbish, maybe, to soften it up. No, he's hitting Umbreon. Okay, please, Psybeam! I asked this one thing of you. Please work so that this thing doesn't knock me out. Yes, it actually worked. Nice. Espeon. Alright, I like you today. And we drew a DCE. Which means we can do this. So we can retreat our Espeon, and we get to knock him out with Umbreon, which is pretty clutch. Dark Call is pretty good in this matchup, too, considering his deck is a little bit slower. Um, so we'll knock him out, we'll take our two prize cards, hopefully we get a supporter now. There's a Cynthia, and there's an end, so two supporters. Now we need to get a Garboder up, but Psybeam actually worked. Espeon, I like you today. Now, now the big obstacle is going to be these Greninjas, because they're so tanky. And Garboder's not doing much, because you don't play two items. But, you know what? We did it. Espeon came in clutch, and Psybeam worked. Psybeam is definitely good here, especially against Greninja and the, uh, thing, but... Question is now, do I want to do Divide at some point, or do I want to Dark Call him? And I kind of like Dark Call. He's going to Guzma up my Trubbish, that's fine. We have four Float Stones, or we have a lot of Float Stones, and we have Cynthia. However, if we top deck Guzma, that would make me a happy camper. I got to watch out for that Enhanced Hammer, too. That could ruin my plans. He's going to DC the EV, so I definitely want to try and, like, knock him out. So he's going to Stretcher, get back the Glaceon in his hand, so he's saving that for next turn, it looks like. All right. We do draw a Mysterious Treasure. We'll get rid of Umbreon. Grab. Oh, do I want to grab Garboder? We got three floats. Okay. We'll grab Garboder. <laughs> this is kind of risky if it does get knocked out. <sighs> I might need that for Lele. Let's just do Cynthia. Hopefully we can draw a Floatstone here. Do we draw it? We do not. That is a major rip in chat. That sucks. Alright, I'm going to Ultra Ball. Um, I'm just going to grab Lele for next turn. Yeah, it's fine. Okay, well, we'll, we'll go my next turn. And then we'll Psybeam the Glaceon again, I guess. Unless he has a Guzma and Water Energy in his hand, that would really suck. This sucks, though. Not getting Floatstone is a bummer. It's a bummer. It's a bummer. Um, we'll see. Garboder might get knocked out if he gets, like, a Frogadier, Greninja, and Frost Bullets me. He still has to retreat this Frogadier. Um, we'll see if he does. So we see a Choice Band going on to the Glaceon. There's a Sycamore of all cards. Rip me. Does lose Ace Rolla, which is a good discard. Still only playing three items though, so not a whole lot of items being played. He'll probably do 20 to the Garboder if he does. Like if he knocks me out, that'll really suck, because we obviously need Garboder. Let's see. So he goes Greninja, so he does get a Greninja GX. Hmm, he's played a lot of supporters. I could end him to four and then still try and hope I hit Floatstone. We've seen Enhanced Hammer. That should be his only one. Hopefully he only plays one. Timer Ball, Double Tails. Double Heads, that sucks. Well, that's more items. The Enhanced Hammer, the Ultra Ball, the Energy Retrieval. That's all items, so I don't mind that at all. I don't know if I want to end him or not, though. Like, if I end him and I hit the Float, that's good, but I think it might be best to side beam him here. Just confuse him again and just say, hey, you're confused. However, he hasn't played a Guzma yet. If I can top deck a Float Stone, that would be ideal. We drew a field blower, that works too. We do get to get rid of another item. And this will be the turn where we confuse them in before all my Guzma surprise. So we are gonna Guzma. Still no Garbotoxin active though at this point. That sucks, but I might be okay. We'll put the psychic energy on Tapu Lele GX, and we will side beam him for 60. And we'll just keep applying pressure to this Glaceon. Confusing him, force him to have to flip to attack. Again, he could get heads. But he'll still be confused, and that'll still be good. At the end of the day, as long as he's confused. And maybe we can just come in with Lele next turn and knock him out if he gets heads. However, the Greninja's getting built up is honestly more scarier than Glaceon. So we see a Sycamore, another item getting discarded. That's 20, 60, 80, 100, 120, 40. We're doing 140 right now with that voter. So if we want, we can retreat into Trash Lands next turn if we draw it. I do want to end him here to four to six and then get Floatstone, Garbotoxin him, shut down Greninjas, and a Rangaroo. Ideally a Rangaroo. He does draw a float, he'll be able to retreat the Glaceon into Greninja. 
That's fine. I can confuse Greninja. He does have a two retreat cost. There's a float. We can end him here. Not really do a low hand size, but still decent. We just got a super rod. I think I'm gonna save that though. We did draw Garboder. I guess we'll attach to Lele, just build up Lele, and we'll side beam him for 60. Now, he probably has Guzma. He's only played one so far. I did just send him into a new hand. He's kind of low on cards in the deck. He might have a Guzma. But he can't knock out Espeon. I don't mind losing Umbreon at this point. So we'll see if he has it or not. Garbotoxin is active, though, and that is what is important. And Garbodor is doing a decent chunk of damage now, so the things are starting to kick in gear a little bit. So he's going to attach the DC, he's going to do Cynthia, and it looks like he might just go and take the knockout on Espeon here. And then we'll just Super Rod get the line back. Espeon, it's good. No, he has Field Blower. No, why do you have that? No. I mean, I know why you have it, but why do you have to play it now? I think if he gets a float too, I'm going to be shook it. Because then he keeps the energy on this Greninja, and that's not good. Oh, he went for the attack and failed. That is beautiful. Oh, wow. That is a deadly top deck item. Well, we can do this. We are going to do 150, I think. Nice, we got that again. I'm just going to play this so we don't draw it. We're going to probably end at 2, so... We'll do something. All right. <laughs> are we knocking him out? Yeah, we are. Okay, so Psychic does knock him out. So we take down the Greninja GX. Glaceon's heavily damaged. We saw him discard an Ace Roller earlier on. Plus, we have Trash Lanch, which is getting revved up now. Especially because he played another Field Blower. I think that's 160 now. So, yeah. Espeon will finally go down, but there is a reason why I was building Lele in the background. Just in case, for some reason, Garboder doesn't knock him out, Lele can come in and try and sweep out this Glaceon. But this should be game here. We'll see. He could end me to two. I don't think that would disrupt me too much, though. I think he has to, like, attack with a non-GX Pokemon, but I think really all he has is just Glaceon. So, yeah, he will let me to two. I'm glad I burned that Professor's Letter then. Let's see what this new hand gives me. Mysterious Treasure. We do find a DC, so Lele can still knock him out if Garboder, for some reason, is not doing enough damage. But he's got 140 HP remaining. He's definitely played more than seven items, so it should be game... Another field blower, okay, so that's another item. So I think now we're doing 180, right? 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 120, 160, 180 with that field blower. So yeah, Polar Spear GX, and that will wrap up today's video. No, no, no. We'll find another game, I think. I still want to try this deck out against, um, I still want to try this deck out against a, uh, like a, a Dawn Wings deck. So I don't think I'm going to end the video off here. Um, so we'll find another game. And um, I'll probably see you guys in a minute because I've been talking too much. I've been recording videos back to back. So I'm probably just going to record the final part tomorrow at the time of me recording this, which is Monday. So I'll see you guys in a minute. All right, guys, here we go. Let's go find another game with our Umbreon Espeon deck. And yes, it is the next day I'm recording this. I have to record, I think, three videos that I have to line up for Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday because I'm going to be away Thursday. And I might be able to record Friday's video and get it up at time. So it's a little weird, but we'll see if we can work it out. Um, it looks like we're playing against a metal deck from the looks of it. Um, I was hoping we would maybe find a Buzzle match or a, a Malamar matchup, but uh, we'll see. Um, it could be a... I don't know actually what it's going to be. Uh, we are going to mulligan here. We'll have to see what happens here. Now, Umbreon, maybe we could make like an Umbreon Garboder deck down the road. Um, just, a, just a thought I just had is maybe Umbreon Garboder is good too without the Espeon. So there's lots of ways we can go about this. We are going to start with Espeon and a potential Umbreon start. So we have a, a choice to start Espeon or Umbreon. Depending on what my opponent's running, you will see. Alright, so he's playing Metagross Sogaleo. This is actually a pretty bad matchup for us, I'd say. Um, well, I don't know. 
I, I wouldn't call it a bad matchup, but I wouldn't really call it a great matchup either. We'll see what happens. Uh, we're definitely going to need Garbotoxin in this matchup then. Because shut down. We shut down uh, Metagross GX, and that's all that matters. Alright, let's see what we top deck. Okay, we do another energy. Um, we're probably not gonna need Espeon. I mean, we could use Divide, to be honest with you, but, um, I think it's fine. Just to go Umbreon here. I think Umbreon might be a little more useful. Strafe isn't that bad in this matchup. Um. We can do a double Ultra Ball here. Is it worth it, though? I don't know. Do I want to lose two, two of my choice bands? I probably want to say no. Because we might need choice band to do extra damage. And that extra damage could come in handy when we're facing off against 250 HP attackers. So it's probably for the best to do that. Though we could have gotten another Trubbish. Hopefully we can find a couple Trubbishes here. Uh, we do find one. We do find a DC for next turn, which is also pretty good. And we'll just stray for 30. Not a whole lot of damage. But next turn, if we want, we can Lele Guzma. If he doesn't get Sokaleo down, we can Guzma the Cosmog, knock out Beldum, and Cosmog with Shadow Bullet next turn. But I think my opponent has Rare Candy. If not, he's going to go Cosmoem. Oh, he has Rare Candy, Sokaleo. Why do you have Rare Candy, Sokaleo? Okay, well, this is not good. I could Dark Call him. Maybe that could do something. If we... if if we can get Garbotox the next turn, I actually don't mind Dark calling him. I can get rid of two of the Metal Energies on Sokaleo. Get Garbotox up so we can't immediately Metagross them back. But, um, kind of annoying he had that. I was really hoping he didn't so I could do, like, a Guzma play and knock him out. But no, that's just not going to happen. I mean, I still can take two prizes with Umbreon here if I really wanted to, but I don't think it's worth it. I think I do have to Dark Call him. Like, I don't hate that. I, I, you know, it's fine to do that, I guess. Like, it's the only Jex tech we have. I do want to hit Garboder here. So let's see if we can do it. We are going to do a Cynthia. I can't really end him when he has one card in his hand. Um, we'll see if Cynthia can give us the goodies. It does not give us the goodies. But he, again, he only has one card, so... I can probably safely Dark Call him here. I don't know if this will really matter, but who knows. As long as he doesn't, like, get a Sycamore and then gets, like, double Metagross, we should be good. And then we can start attacking. Again, he's got two cards in his hand, so... Who knows what he's got. He's probably gonna do Ultra Road to probably have to bring out, like, Lele. He's gonna have to bring out something here, because we just... Got rid of two of those energies with Dark Call. And then we'll probably Guzma this. Try and just beat this thing to death. Or just beat him up. So he is going to do Guzma. He could core beam me, I guess, for 50. Looks like yeah, he's going to do that. He has to give up more of his energies, though. So that was a good call, then. Dark Call was a good call. Who knew? Um, I'm going to put a Psych Energy on Tapu Lele. And we're going to Guzma up the Soleo. We're going to Shadow Bullet, and I'm actually going to hit the other Cosmo. I'm going to hit the other Cosmo. Well, Solo is the only thing that can one-shot me, right? Metagross does 180 to my Umbreon and Espeon, so... I'd rather knock out the Sogaleos here than anything else. Unfortunately, he's got enough HP to take three of my Shadow Bullets. So, it's going to be a while till we knock this thing out, but... We can slowly whittle it down, but in the meantime, we can take it to the Cosmos. The reason I did not get Beldum, who knows? Like that one, other, he might have a Lele in his hand. I have, he could have a Lele in his hand. And he might be expecting me to knock out the Beldum. But if we get rid of the Cosmogs, we don't have to worry about much. He's gonna max Potion. All right, Rip. That kind of puts that down the drain. We don't have another Guzma either. He's actually gonna bring out Lele. I mean, I guess it's the only thing he can bring out. That, I mean, I honestly maybe would have brought out Beldum so he can Corby me. Fine though. We do have an Ace Rolla, which we might as well play on our Lele. And then we can do a Guzma next turn, I guess. Um, we might as well just Shadow Bullet. And we are going to take out that Cosmog. Hopefully, that last card in his hand is not a Lele. I swear. If, if he has a Lele, I called it. Um, there's another DC. Right. And next turn, I can Guzma and knock out two of his Beldums. Oh, he had a Sycamore rip. 
Okay, well, we'll see what happens here. We could get knocked out. That's worst case scenario. We still have to get a Garbotoxin up. And, um, that'll be the goal. Please don't have another Rare Candy in your hand to follow up with another Metagross. Okay, good. He has a Matang. Again, if we can, like, best case scenario, we draw, like, a way to get Garbodor down, we can Garbodox in him, and we can also get a Guzma off. We can knock out Matang and Beldum, which I think I'll do. We drew a Parallel City, which is huge. He's probably gonna get rid of the Bell. Ah, maybe I should have waited. That's fine, though. You know, he still has to limit his bench. He can't put any other Pokemon down. He's, yeah, he's gonna get rid of the, Bel pardon me, the Beldum. But, uh, we can knock out Lele this turn, too, if we really wanted to. We can take two more prizes. Who knows? You know, maybe it might just be better to Cynthia. I... Ah, man. Uh, do I want to knock out Lele or do I want to Guzma? Or do, do I want to Guzma the Matang and knock it out? We can Guzma the Matang. I, I guess that's the play? I really want to get Garbotoxin up too. It looks like this is going to be the play though. We can win the game by just knocking out the Lele and these things, but Solaleo is going to be a bit of an issue, but without his Metagrosses, it's not going to do much. And I might as well hit the other Beldum. He's got three cards, probably got a supporter. He could end me too. So I guess we'll hit the Lele again. He might just bring it active though. So... He could also hit Solaleo. He's played quite a few items. Oh, we'll hit the Beldum. If, we'll say, well, bro, if you don't have a Metang or a Metagross, Beldum's going to get knocked out. We'll take our prize. We got another Floatstone. We could get into four here. I am predicting that it will happen. Ombreon is putting in a lot more work, but um, he could end me to four. He's played 80, 100, 120, 140. Okay, we're doing a lot of damage with Garbotoxin. Max Potion. Oh, maybe I should have just knocked out Lele there. And a Field Blower. That is pretty annoying. Um, he's actually going to just opt to keep the Parallel City. We still have our Float, so we're good. That does suck, though. That kind of puts a dent in my plan. If I drew a Guzma and then he didn't do that, I could have knocked out both. He's going to put him a Tang down. He can do Ultra Road, but, like, you bring out Lele and he can see. All right, he sees, he sees the Umbreon. It's just doing too much. Umbreon put in so much work there. I am proud of Umbreon. Um, literally, it was the Umbreon show. We didn't even use Garbodors, so um, there's that. Um, we are going to find another game. It looks like we're against Gardevoir. I'm hoping at one point we can find a game against, um, like, a, a Buzzwool or a Dawnwings deck. Just because this deck is kind of aimed to beat those decks, so uh, we'll have to see. We do have a Mysterious Treasure. We have Turn 1 Bridget. We just don't have the energy to correlate on the Eevee here. So, if we can draw an energy, that'll make me a Happy Camper. But we'll see. I don't know what I mean. He's, he's got to be playing Gardevoir. He's playing a Lightning type in his deck. Though. He's got Fairy, Fighting, and Lightning. It could be it could be a spread deck, actually. It could very well be a spread deck. We'll have to see. Um, okay, no... So, we didn't get any um, energies. Which almost makes me not even want to do Bridget here. Just, I, I'd honestly rather have Pokemon. I, yeah, you know what? Bridget, I'm sorry, buddy, but um, I'm not going to do you. I'm actually just going to end him, and I'm going to hope we find one of our energies here to evolve our Eevee. Okay, we do. And we are going to have to go with... We're going to have to go with Espeon today, which is fine. Either or. I prefer Umbreon if he's playing like a spread deck, but we don't know what he's playing, so Espeon might be better if we can get some early divides off. Plus, yeah, if he is actually playing Gardevoir then yeah it's probably for the best that we go for espion because it's really the only thing that could do decent damage to gardevoir so we're just gonna pass we're gonna get two trubbishes down this turn just to establish our trubbish board state a little bit and uh, we'll have to see what he's playing if he's playing a spread deck i'm gonna have to not play too many pokemon now or yeah put too many pokemon down But it most likely is Gardevoir. I don't know what the Lightning type is. That's the problem. He's actually just going to Lily for two. Okay. 
Alright, so I guess there's a guard of our deck. Um, I guess we'll just use this turn to side beam him. Um, I, I, I guess. He's not doing much else, so we can probably just play side beam. Yeah, we didn't even hit the DC. Uh, we can Garbodor him, though. Force him to not be able to have an ability for now. And uh, we'll just side beam him. Not that it matters, but you never know. He might try and, you know, side drive me. He did draw a lot of cards, so I'm pretty sure he's not going to have a bad hand anymore. Oh, he has a Sycamore. I am so sorry. I am. Oh, he's playing Xerneas with Lycanroc. Okay. That's actually a pretty interesting idea, considering you have unit energy. I, 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 approve, of, I approve of the rogue idea. I approve. He's actually just going to retreat and Geomancy. Okay. Now we definitely want to find DCE. Um, Ace Rolla. Um, Alright, we'll get rid of, I guess, this. We're going to have to Sycamore dump the hand. We'll grab a Garboder. Oh, well, I could Garbotoxin him for 120. Two forces. I mean, you do 100 with Garbodor. I don't mind that, and I think that's what the play will be. Wish I could knock out the Espeon. Or, not the Espeon, the Lele. Um, I might just trash Lanch it, to be honest with you. Maybe we can knock it out with Umbreon down the road. I mean, if Garbodor doesn't go down next turn, I'll go, I'll put an energy on Eevee, I'll draw a Sycamore, try and get an Umbreon onto Eevee, and then what I'll do is we can save Lele to be KO'd down the road. Well, he's got 4 HP, but you get my point. He's actually going to get a Bridget off, so that's a little bad. He's going to be able to get more Geomancies in play. I might just save Garbodor, to be honest with you. I, I don't really want to use it now. Garbodor might be the only thing that can one-shot these Xerneases. So, yeah, it might be better to conserve Garbodor. We drew another flow. That's... That's actually not very good, because now we only have one float to put on you. Okay. I could super raw, but there's no point. I guess we're gonna have to trash the lanch for now. I mean, not much else I can do with this hand. I'm just gonna have to hit him for 100. Interesting concept, though. Lycanroc Xerneas. I actually think that's a pretty cool deck idea. That's a pretty unique deck idea. Okay, just a Geomancy. So, he doesn't have any supporters. Though he is putting a lot of energy in play, which is kind of scary. I want to draw a Guzma here so I can take out Rockruff. Stretcher is not really doing much. Alright, we're going to just retreat Numbreon. We have to take him out the old-fashioned way. I do have Dark Call. I got to remember that. Next turn, I might actually even try and SP on him. Might not be bad. Alright, I think it's best just to hit one of these Xerneases here. Just just because this way, like, we'll have damage on him. And we'll see what we draw. We do Co- Okay, Coco's not bad either. I might- I'm probably still just gonna go for the- sh For the divide play here. Because we can knock out Lele and Rockra. Right? Forty. Never mind, we can't. This thing has 7 HP rip. I think it's still good to divide him. I could have done it last turn. Maybe I should have. I might regret it. But we can still do divide at any point. Remove a bunch of his energy from play. We'll see if our Umbreon goes down this turn. Double Xerneas, yikes. Well, we, we take out this guy. Yeah, he's played enough items for us to knock him out with the uh, Garboder. Kind of wish I kept that Ace Roller now, because we could have been able to play it. Um, we'll put down the Coco, I guess, because why not? Do we divide him, or do we just trash a him? He's got two cards in his hand. I mean, it's probably best just to divide here. Probably for the best to divide. I could Super Rod, but I don't really need the energies back right now. What else can I do with this hand? Do I want to play Choice Fan? I don't really need it. So, yeah, we're going to divide, and uh, we are just going to be able to knock out this Tapu Lele in play. And we are doing 120 to him. So I'm going to put some damage on the Xerneas here so we can knock it out. The Psychic. I'm also going to try and get damage on that Rockruff for Lycanroc. Maybe we can... Knock it out with Garboder. I am a little worried about a dangerous rogue. 
But because Garbodor is in play, we don't have to worry about like a Bloodthirsty Eyes bringing up our, bringing up um, even Umbreon or Garbodor, which are you know which can be taken out easily by like an RTX. So he's gonna put it down, but he doesn't have access to it thanks to Garbotoxin, and that is kind of clutch because I'm assuming my opponent sees Trash Lanch as the big threat here. Enhanced Hammer, okay, that kind of sucks. We still have all our DC, so. And I'm probably just going to retreat and Trash Lanch. It looks like he's just going to Dangerous Rogue me. Um, okay, there's a Field Blower. I'm probably just going to have to put Choice Band on. He doesn't... Okay, what? Are you not going to... Are you not going to Dangerous Rogue me? You are, what? Okay, that was the most confusing play in my life I've ever seen. He didn't... He Enhanced Hammered and Field Blowered off Mask Beyond when he's going to knock it out. I mean, sure, I'm not going to complain. Um, if anything, that's a good thing. Might as well just put the EV back in my hand. So we have another Espeon in play. Or in our hand. Sure. Well, I'm going to have to play some of the choice bands now. We're definitely knocking out this lag knock, right? Yeah, we don't... Hold on. I might have to play the choice band. 40... 80, 120, 140, 160. We're not gonna go. I think I'm still gonna play Choice Band though. I need to thin out. I need to thin out my deck in case he ends me to one, which could happen. So we'll just. Okay, we're doing 250. Never mind. I really miscounted. We got a Parallel. We got another Energy. Parallel is kind of nice. We should be able to wrap this game up. I don't see him taking out Garboder this turn. Um, at all. Counter Catcher. Okay, he brings out Umbreon, so we. Just takes his last prize on our and uh, We'll hit him with a well played. And yeah, at this point, we win the game with um, Garboder. Um, I think I'll wrap the video. Obviously, we've been recording for a very long time. Um, this video is probably going to be like almost 50 minutes. Interesting idea, though. I, I like this deck concept with Lycanroc and Xerneas. I got, I mean, you know what? I'm going to give this deck a cool out of 10 because this is a really unique idea on how to play Lycanroc and Xerneas. And you know what? Maybe I might, if this guy ever watches this video, I kind of want to take a look at that deck for a video. That just seems like a really cool concept. Um, but yeah, I'm going to wrap up the video here, guys. We were, I mean, we got really good games with the deck regardless. I really wish we played against a Buzzle or a Malamar deck, but we didn't. Um, what was I going to take? But other than that, I think this is a cool deck. Um, I might try out an Umbreon Garboder deck down the road. There's still some ideas to try out, but Umbreon Espeon... Is it a great archetype to counter Malamar and Buzzwool? Who knows? You guys can try this out for yourselves. See if you can play against any Gar uh, Buzzwool or uh, Malamar decks. But I'll wrap up today's video. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you guys in another PDCGO video. And thanks for all the support. Help me on the road to 3,000 subscribers if you're not already subbed. And I'll see you guys later. Peace out.